Oh, well, an- another question. So uh, societal standards have changed quite a bit since oh, your day. And since this is polygamy, true. Since external pressure caused the church to abandon polygamy, uh, I think we're in a time where polygamy, polygamy could be uh, legalized. It's being decriminalized in places. And do you think it would be healthy and good for the church to reinstitute polygamy? What would be the consequences of bringing that back? <laughs> oh, Sam, you're so naive. <laughs> you, you do remember when Joseph started polygamy, don't you? Uh, oh, I'm what, not sure. what, was polygamy legal then? <laughs> no, but it was God's <laughs> will and law, yes. Yeah. So, uh, do you re- you do remember that uh, the church held secret councils in the Council of Fifty and discussed things which were tantamount, if not explicitly, treason? Do you not? Is treason legal? Was it legal back then? No. You do know that God's law at all times, in all places, and for all reasons is higher than man's law, do you not? And you do know that there are times, as I've just identified, where God's representatives and mouthpieces on earth save, uh, they, 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 they practice and respect God's higher law over man's law, but they do it in secret. They don't l- let it out. So since there's already a precedent in the church of the highest church leader completely flaunting and disregarding the rules of the land, what is to say that the church leaders haven't been doing that this whole time anyway? You're, you're absolutely right. Uh, it could be. Uh I guess I'm exploring or would like to explore with you what the ramifications would be for bringing it back openly, publicly and widely practiced, kind of like the FLDS church. They've got a healthy culture and environment, right? If we could just get the LDS church to do that too, do you think it would help bring in new recruits, new like church membership would grow? You... you I can't believe you just said that the FLDS church has a healthy culture and environment. You know, (laughs) when you start letting upstarts claim to be the prophet without having the actual mantle of God upon their shoulders, then corrupt things are going to enter into the culture. Now, polygamy probably won't be brought back even if it is made legal for one reason and one reason alone. Polyamorous people are creeps frankly. And, you know, that whole polyamory thing has taken over the culture. And so then, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, I don't don't want to have to put up with that kind of stuff. You can never really trust any relationship because you can't tell if people are trying to actually be friendly to you or if they're trying to just get you to be, you know, the number three on their next tryst. And I just, it's, it's creepy and it's mixed in with all kinds of other crazy things. I just don't think it's going to happen.